All right, guys. Um, that's a couple of people messaged me about dating, yeah, and another one was um, sent me some videos about some of the agencies out there. I've got to admit, I don't think any guy needs an agency. Um, now, I know some of you other guys are like had enough for the women's side and switched off from that, but this this is for guys that are actually looking to date somebody. First thing is, agencies are geared up to make money. They're a business. They are not there for your love and uh, bringing people together or any other tribe. It is purely for profit. Now, the problem you're getting is, I mean, as the videos show that the, somebody sent me over, um, they sent one for Ukraine and one for, I think it was Thailand. Both events, the women were geared up for the cash cow. Now, I look at those and firstly, I think they've been sold a promise somewhere. Um, that's my personal opinion. I'm not talking about the agencies directly because I don't know the owners and I wasn't there. But the fact is they seem very geared towards the money. It tells me that it was all geared towards the money and there is an expectation that the guys are going to deliver on their uh, promise. But this is one of the things you need to look at is is there a relationship thing there or is this going to be something where you get blindsided by a beautiful woman and at the same time she's expecting you to have a big house big car and maybe even a divorce a couple of years down the line so she can take the lot from you um so from that that side of things i don't think it's worth worth the risk um now his dating got harder the funny thing is with social stuff um, I find that social media has devalued a lot of stuff, um, but also it has a high immaturity. Um, you know, you look at little smiley faces and all this sort of stuff, and it's like, did we really need those in our lives? Maybe when I was six. Um, but the, the point being is, a lot of the stuff online is where people are spending their time and they have these virtual relationships and uh, their virtual friends and stuff and yet outside the front door they may not even speak to the neighbors and I was looking at a guy's channel the other day where the guy is never dated um, he's had no like sexual contact with a woman and stuff like this and yet the guy seems okay he's just uh, I don't know and I can understand where some guys struggle to meet women because some women are really aggressive out there. I mean, I've got to admit, um, my sister's probably one of the worst women I've ever met. Um, not that every day my sister, I'll gladly never see her again. But the, the point being is there's a lot of women out there that are just bad news. And because of this drive where they overvalue themselves, and it is reality, they overvalue themselves, the, the, and it's often this me, me, me culture, then you've got this problem where you're dealing with somebody whose main concern is themselves, and often it's when you walk out the relationship, they suddenly realize what they've lost. Um, that's from my experience, when I've left, that's when suddenly it's like, hang on a minute, money's just walked out the door and everything else. Um, so the, the point being is, you've got to value yourself first. And this is getting back to where this guy, I think where this guy's issues is, it's insecurity and stuff. But part of that is recognizing that a lot of these women ain't any good anyway. Um, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of good women out there, but finding them is not straightforward. And this is why some guys will go off to Asia, some guys will go off to Ukraine or whatever. But I have no idea why they use agencies. None whatsoever. Um, are people that insecure? I don't know. Because it's like, you know, it's, I don't know. I mean, I had a friend that wouldn't come out to the Philippines before um, because he thought he would get kidnapped, yet he ain't got any money or nothing, so I don't know why anybody would kidnap him. But he, the point being is, there's always the what if, why, what if somebody laughs at me? What if, I, what if I make myself look stupid? What if, do you know what? This is the same guy. We used to go out nightclubbing a long time ago. Um, I used to say, just go up and ask girls out. And he's like, what? It's like, 
you go out there and you just ask them. They either say no or yes. That's it. You move past it. You know, do you want a drink? Do you want to have a chat? Blah, blah, blah. And move on. And just say no. Saves you 10 minutes. You're on to the next woman until you find somebody you hit it off with. Not hard. But a lot of guys really struggle to do that. But often, that's the quickest and easiest way and money saving option is to simply just he keep talking to people till somebody um, agrees with you. And, and it's, it's not about lowering standards because you, you pick the way me, you don't sort of work your way down the ladder. Um, but the, the point is, you, a lot of people just need a bit more confidence and realise they're worth something and realise how important they are. And it's not in the way of me be me culture, but simply people can't walk over you and don't let them walk over you. Um, society's bad enough in making all the responsibilities ours at the moment for many people. Um, you don't need that. You know, at the end of the day, if you're with something, somebody, it doesn't mean you have to live with them. It doesn't mean you have to get married. It just means that you're together and enjoy each other's company. I know a few people that don't actually live with their girlfriends. And people say, well, when you're getting married, they say, well, they want to get married. You know, she's happy. She's got her own house and stuff, and we, I'm happy. We don't have any of the arguments about the wallpaper or disputes about who's doing what because we can go home at night. Um, there is nothing wrong with that. Where people go wrong is often where they push because they get into a relationship and then they start pushing it because they started off, met somebody and they're like, oh wow, I love this person, blah, blah, blah. Trying to push for the marriage, then pushing for the getting the house together and all this sort of stuff. At the same time, the uh, traditional marriage is fragmented today. You've got less than a 50-50 chance of survival on that one. But if you were living in your own place and doing your own thing and meeting each other at the weekends or a few days a week or whatever, a few nights a week, you've got about probably, I'll tell you, you've probably got 80% of that relationship surviving. It's only if she wanted to get married, I suppose, that might change. But beyond that, you both got what you want. You keep all your resources and your assets you've generated. She's got all hers if she's got some. Um, but at the same time, if you ever argue with each other, you can just go home or send her home. Um, but one of the things I will say is you do not need agencies. You do not need people telling you how to do this stuff because a lot of it is about um, recognizing your own flaws. I have some flaws. Um, but at the same time, you recognise a lot of this, you know, where, where are you failing in meeting people? Is it because you don't go out enough? Because you meet some of the best people um, at local places that don't involve alcohol. Um, you know, the, the woman that's there every week and goes home with a different guy, that's not the girl that you want to be dating. She's there for something else. The girl at the gym that's there uh, three or four days a week and seems pleasant and doesn't drink and does whatever, I don't know, got her own job, got her own career, doing her own thing, she is probably going to be a better match. Because for a start, she's already motivated in her own direction. And this is what I say, you don't have to get married, you don't have to uh, make it a permanent thing. You can be together without actually having to live together. Um, and that's probably a better relationship to be in. But she, she, she may seem a bit harder to access in the sense that you're going to have to make an effort to go over there. But at the same time, even if she says no the first time, just leave it at that. It doesn't mean it's no forever. Because she may already have a boyfriend or whatever. But the point is, at least you put yourself out there. Um, but a lot of it is people's perception of themselves that hold them back. You know, like... Are you overweight? Well, do something about it. Feel insecure talking to people? Do something about it. Get some motivational stuff together. Get some stuff that relates to how to deal with insecurities. And do something about it. Find Western women difficult to deal with. Go elsewhere. Um, I mean, this is the thing. The amount of people I know that have gone off to the Philippines to meet somebody... The, I mean, I've got to admit, I... I wasn't even going to the Philippines, it's just random. But I ended up there, got married and everything else, and been, been together 11 years now. But the, the point being is, when it's right, it's right. But a lot of guys 
need to stop and think about things they're doing as well because a lot of guys go out there and get into the wrong relationships but also it goes back to the ones about looking about looking at yourself because a lot of the Asian women are looking for guys they can be with long term a lot of girls are looking for guys that look after themselves um, they have high expectations but the one thing you also get on the other side of that is a higher chance of getting loyalty and a stronger connection with them um, because it's a bit like a friend of mine when he, he got badly hurt at work. His wife left him with the encouragement of his, her parents. Now for me, all I see is somebody seeing an asset that when he was working it was all good news and now that he was, he was injured, he, he's no longer valuable. Throw him out like the trash. Do you want to be with a woman like that? So yeah, I would say you need to just look into it and do more about yourself. I mean, a lot of this is you don't need a woman as well. That's the other thing, you don't need a woman. A lot of people think they gotta have a woman in life and whatever. That is all coming from being pushed as the way life should be. The picket fenced house, the 2.2 children, all that sort of stuff. You don't have to have anything. I mean, one of the things you got as a single person is the freedom to travel. Because um, you can live on a lot less. So there is advantages and disadvantages. But one of the first things I would say is take a close look at what you actually want out of life. And take it from there. Thanks for watching.